The era of generative AI started on November 30th, 2022, with the launch of ChatGPT. And ever since, the generative AI landscape has been expanding and evolving at a record pace, much faster than any other technology we've seen. It seems like every day there is a new advance in generative AI. The changes are coming fast. The sophistication of Gen AI is growing by leaps and bounds. So let's go through some of the biggest changes in the Gen AI landscape. Number one, the number of foundation models out there has exploded. They're proliferating like crazy. What started as a few key players has ballooned into hundreds of models, some of which are highly specialized. Number two, it's not just large language models anymore. Now we have large multimodal models, or LMMs. What makes an LMM different? While LLMs are strictly text-based, LMMs are trained with text, sounds, pictures, videos, and music. Now the content generated by AI isn't just textual or pictorial, it's multi-sensory. The mute button is all. Number three, bigger isn't always better. Small language models, or SLMs, are having a moment. Large models like GPT-4 are rumored to have about 2 trillion parameters. SLMs might have only 10 to 30 billion parameters. Small is a relative term here. Smaller models have the benefits of near instant responsiveness, lower resource requirements, and lower costs. SLMs are ideal when response time is critical or when the subject matter is so specialized that a smaller but deeper dataset is required. Number four, open source models are gaining in popularity. Open source models democratize AI by making it accessible to everyone. It fosters an environment where researchers, developers, and business leaders use AI without prohibitive costs or access barriers. But be aware, Open source is also a relative term. The level of openness can vary from model to model. Sometimes models are free to download and use, but they might not be customizable. Some models are customizable, but have associated costs. Open source projects are evolving, and the lines between freely available resources and proprietary offerings can sometimes get fuzzy. Number five. Search results are getting boosted with Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG. RAG is supercharged searching. RAG can boost a model's accuracy by incorporating knowledge from outside databases and files. This allows models to stay current and use specialized knowledge that it wouldn't have otherwise. For example, OpenAI's GPT-4 model is only trained on information that was available as of April 2023. So, if you ask the AI to generate content based on last week's news, it won't know what happened last week and won't be able to help you. But if you combine your prompt with retrieval augmented generation techniques, it can search external websites and include up-to-date information in its response. Number six, AI is at the edge. Edge computing is all about bringing processing power closer to where the data actually lives. Manufacturing is already reducing costs and enhancing safety by computing on the edge. We can do the same thing with AI. By putting AI applications on the edge, we can enhance privacy, reduce costs, and improve speed. There's a second reason edge computing is the answer. AI applications use tremendous amounts of energy. It's estimated that by 2027, the AI industry's annual electricity usage will be almost equal to 1% of the world's total electricity use. Using AI on the edge means processing data on local devices instead of some far off cloud computing facility. We can reduce energy use by lowering the need for data transmission and reducing the workload on cloud servers. And finally, number seven, we are in the age of agents. Agents are software applications that take action on your behalf. Different AI agents can do different things. Some can write programming code. Others can buy things online. Some are capable of complex problem solving. With the right oversight, AI agents can work with one another and act as proxies for people and organizations alike. 
quite soon, they will support much of the business-to-business -business landscape. These seven developments prove that there's never a dull moment in the AI field. So buckle up and get ready to see some amazing breakthroughs in generative AI. The future is going to be very exciting.